Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about our rating stars, and we're going to try and swipe across this set of stars here and, uh, you know, fill in the stars as you swipe. So I explained kind of the math of it, it kind of in abstract in the last video, and now we'll try and apply some of those ideas here to our, um, to our project. Um, to make this work, we'll have to do a little bit of setup first, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a brand new class. Now, now remember from a video or two ago, maybe two videos ago, I set this view up. And what I did was I made some buttons and I put them in a stack view. This thing right here is actually just a UI label. So this is a UI label and it has five stars in it, okay? So just five star emojis, okay? And so, uh, so this is kind of a different setup. Like this is like text, right? And we're going to be filling in the number of stars or as, as you know, emoji strings, right? Okay. So what we need to do though, as for this to work, um, we're going to we're going to make this one a little bit more sophisticated than the one down here. So to make this one work, what we're going to do is we're going to make a subclass for UI label, and then we'll put our code in it. So we'll make a special version of the label. So we won't use the standard label. We'll make our own version of the label that has some extra features in it to uh, to handle the rating swipe. Okay. Um, before we do that, we need our rating label right here to be um, interactive. So what I'll do is I'll select it here, and then I'm gonna um, scroll down in the properties here, and I'll find the view section. And there's um, a checkbox here that says interaction and then it says user interaction enabled. I'm going to check that box, okay? And then we'll make a brand new file, um, iOS Cocoa Touch class, and we'll set this to be a subclass of UI label. So type in UI label here and then up here what we'll call this is rating label, okay? So that'll be the name of our class. And then we'll save this class into our project. And um, by default, it gives us just this one little block of code with this override for the draw method. Um, we'll leave that commented for now. But what we'll need to do in order to use this label is to assign it as the subclass for our UI label that's in the view. Right, so in the same way that you assign a subclass to your view as a view controller subclass, right? What we're going to do is we're going to create a UI label subclass, which we did rating label, and we'll assign it to this label on on in, in Storyboard, right? So, so I'll select the label here, go to the um, uh, the identity inspector, and then under class, I'll type rating label. Hey, right? So there we go. So now this is a special version of the label that's going to have some extra code in it, okay? So now let's go back to rating label, right? So here we are in the rating label class. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple methods. So the methods we're going to add are um, touches began. And then we're, we'll add another one too. We'll add touches moved. And then we'll add touches ended, okay? So these are the three parts to a touch event. And there's actually another one in here called touches canceled, okay? <clears throat> so we've got um, touches began. I'm going to say began right here. I'm going to put moved and ended. Okay, so, so what do these do? Let's, let's talk about these and canceled, right? So what do these do? Well, um, when, when you make contact with the screen uh, with a UI view element, like, and this can be a UI view could, is the base class for all of the UI elements. So UI image view, um, UI text view, UI label, UI button, all of them are UI views. So any of those guys, when you make contact with them on the screen, they get a touches began event, okay? And this event gets two, um, receives two properties. So it gets a touches, um, a touches property and an event property, okay? So the event property doesn't really do much for us, but the touches um, 
one gives us a set of UI touches and a UI touch contains a lot of information about the touch. One of the pieces of information is the location, like it tells you where you touch the screen. So we want to know where you touch the screen because we're going to use that information to, um, to measure your finger as it moves across the screen, right? So we're going to use this. Now, you'll notice that touches here um, is plural, right? It's like UI touches with an S and then it's a set. So a set is similar to an array, it's a collection, okay? So it's similar to an array. And the reason, you know, this is, this is touches is because, you know, you could touch the, the screen with multiple fingers and each one of those will generate a touch. So it's quite possible that maybe touches began actually, you know, you touch the screen with two fingers at the same time. And so this actually has two touch ob objects in it. For our um, label, we're only going to measure one touch. So the first finger that makes contact with the screen is the only one we're going to use. Okay, so let's get back to the order of, of these touch events, okay? So touches began is when your finger makes contact with the screen, okay? Touches moved is as your finger is moving across the screen. Imagine, you know, touch your, your, the, your, the, your laptop or your desk, and that's a touches began. And then as you drag your finger across the desk or across the computer screen or the, your phone screen, right, then you're getting moved events. So anytime a touch moves on the screen, um, after it's began, then you get a moved event. And you'll see the touches moved is the same as touches began. It receives a touches object and an event object, okay? Or a set of touches, right? Um, so this is where our, our touches moved. This is what we're going to use here, right? So imagine that's where we're going to get your finger and we're going to update the label to show the number of stars based on the position of your finger, okay? Um, so touches ended. Well, this happens when you break contact with the screen. So when you make contact with the screen, the process begins. As you drag your finger across the screen, the touches are moved. And then here, um, where you break contact with the screen, then the process is ended and you can we can do something here too because we know that you're done, okay? Um, touches canceled is something that happens when um, is an event that's called when, when you're in the middle of a touch event. So you still haven't broken contact with the screen, but the computer needs to do something or something comes, comes up like a phone call, right? Or some, something happens on the computer that needs to end the touch process, right? So, or, you know, wants to interrupt it, okay? And you get this touch is canceled. So they're like going to cancel the touch event on you because, you know, like a phone call is coming in or, or a notification or something happens on the phone, okay? So we probably won't use this one. We probably won't use touch is ended, but we're going to use began and moved, okay? But I'll leave them all here because this is the whole life cycle of, of a touch event. And if you are familiar with gestures, gestures are really just an abstract version of all of these. In other words, a swipe gesture or a um, pinch gesture or, you know, any of the other gestures, a long touch, like all those gestures are really just a combination of touches began, touches moved, touches ended. So essentially like a gesture um, listens for began, moved, ended, and canceled, and then sums it all up into, a, you know, a gesture, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so there's, there's a quick intro to uh, touches begun, began, touches moved, touches ended, right? And this is how we're going to work. We got our rating label there, and it will detect touch events, and we'll be able to, uh, to, measure, to measure the position of your finger on the screen with these. Let's give it a quick, a quick test, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to say um, touches began. Let's say let touch. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is we need to get one of the touches out of the set. Of, of UI touches. So what we'll do is we'll say let touches e or touch equal touches dot first. Okay. And this is optional because touches is a set, but you know, it might not have anything in it, right? So um, if we try to get the first item, it, there might be zero items, in which case, you know, we would get nil, right? So I'm going to um, force unwrap that with the exclamation point because our touches began never would have happened if there weren't any touches. So this has to have at least one touch in it. So I think it's okay. It's kind of safe for us to unwrap it, I think, there. So we'll do that. And now we want to find the location 
on the screen where you made contact. So what I'll do is I'll say location equals um, uh, location. Actually, I'm going to do um, touch <coughs> touch dot location in view. Okay. Now, rating label is a subclass of UI view. So actually, we can just put self in here and we can say, hey, give us the location in in this UI label. So this is anywhere inside the box of the UI label, the rectangle, okay? And then just to see if this is working, we'll print it and we'll say print location. How about that, right? <clears throat> and really location has, you know, an X and a Y property. So if we want to find the X of the location, we'll do location.x, right? So let's give that a test. Um, shoot, I have a error there. Oh yeah, because I didn't get rid of this code thing there. Let me delete that and then do it again. Okay, so now as I click on the screen here, oops, it's underneath the thing, I click that pixel 30 and a half. And if I click here, it's 137. And if I tap on this side, it's 270. Right, so there's about 10. There's one pixel, so I click, I tapped right on the edge of the, of the label. Okay, now you'll notice that happens on touches began. I touch and then there's no more numbers showing up here because you know, touches began only happens once, right? Okay. Okay. So anyway, that'll get us started, and I'll complete the next, the next step in the in the next video. Okay. Thanks for watching.